Drinks are delivered. Woo! So we do have a lot of new people who are following us on the channel. And if you don't know, we actually live about 15 to 20 minutes from Walt Disney World. And today we're actually here at Hollywood Studios to do a bar crawl, which is an awesome kind of fun thing that we always like to do, especially as adults. So let's go have some fun. These are basically like little daisies. I showed her a picture of it. So we have made it to our first stop at Baseline Tap House. And it doesn't look super busy, which is good. I think maybe because it's like peak afternoon right now when we're starting, but we're gonna go get some drinks and sit outside. I didn't realize they had cocktails here, but they've got yeah. a California sunset. That's what I'm gonna get. get. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's so good. I don't want it that or the ace. Hi. Hi. Buddy, um, may we do the, yes. the Bavarian pretzel, please? Okay. Uh, the Ace Space Bloody Orange Hard Cider. 16 or 22 ounces? Uh, 16, because we have a long day ahead of us. Yeah. <laughs> we got a long uh, day. And I'll do the California Sunset. Okay. Um, I heard oh, it burst. Is, yeah, I heard oh, it's like a burst? Oh, yes. nice. Oh, it's just a burst? That's the one. Just settings. I don't know what it's set to. You get to that. Oh, camera. Yeah, camera. Oh, um, okay, easy enough. I've got um, HDRs on. I have I'm learning. live photo on off of auto. What's in this? Do you remember? No. It was it just, all, it was no alcohol sweet in the set. first one. It just, it's all fruit juices. No alcohol in the first one, even though it says it on the menu. They don't put it in. We're the alcohol free version. So I'm starting off with the California sunset. I'm pretty sure there's some sort of like vodka, peach schnapps, orange juice, cranberry, something like that. This is my favorite drink here. I've had it in the past, even on a past bar crawl. So I had to get it again, of course. So I went with the blood orange space cider or something like that. That's what I always get here. It's pretty good. It is a little bit more like on the sour side. It's not super sweet, which I kind of like. It's a nice uh, kind of change of pace because normally I'm really into like Angry Orchard. If you know an Angry Orchard cider, it's very sweet. It's really just like apple juice. It doesn't have a lot of alcohol in it, but um, really good. So it's a long day today and doing a bar crawl you can do around Disney World, like basically wherever. All you have to do is just come up with your start point and your end point. You can kind of make up the in-between as you go, but it's really important uh, to remember two things. Like in the winter time, not as big of a deal, but today it's pretty hot. So we have to make sure that we have water, Twitter which has- Tweeners. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> and we need to make sure that we eat food. So we'll probably stop somewhere along the way and actually maybe get um, some type of actual food to eat maybe, instead of just like small bites like the pretzels here. But I do always just like to tell everybody that it's really easy to do. It's a great kind of adult fun activity. Um, sure, you could bring your kids along, I guess, if you wanted to. But uh, I promise you'll have a much better time if it's just adults. Cheers. One, two, three. Okay, so we are now making our way out of Hollywood Studios. And something that I want to add to this whole kind of like bar crawl thing to give you guys a little bit of like a background is that again, you can do this wherever you want on property. We've done this many, many times. We've actually done this, uh, one of our other favorite kind of routes is doing it around the monorail, which if you don't know, uh, over at Magic Kingdom, there is a monorail that runs around the resorts and you can do it over there and it's a lot of fun. You don't need to be staying on property. Um, and if you're gonna start in the parks, you do need to make sure that you have a park reservation to get into the park. So we made sure that we had park reservations to get in today and to uh, come in and get started here. So, and the other thing with that too is that like, feel free to maybe ride some rides before you get started if you want to, because riding rides while you're doing the crawl or afterwards isn't always advised for obvious reasons. So, we're making our way to the Skyliner so that we can head to the next bar, which is going to be the Caribbean Beach Club. The Caribbean Beach Club. Yeah, <laughs> that's a great start already. So our main mode of transportation today is going to be the Skyliner, which is free free to use. It's uh, open to everybody. You don't have to pay anything to use it. And it's a really nice form of transportation. Uh, it, you should expect some sudden stops, but never any drops. For drops, you're in a lot of trouble. Uh, the Skyliner here has a bunch of different stops. We're gonna go to the main station. And once we get to the main station, we're gonna walk over to Caribbean Beach, not the Caribbean Beach Club, uh, which is what I said earlier. And over there at the Caribbean Beach, they have the Banana Cabana Bar, I believe is what it's called. And they have some good cocktails. So that'll be my first cocktail uh, 
of the evening. Presentation first, taste second. If it looks good, it's gonna taste good. All right, so we have arrived here at the Skyliner station. This is the main station for all of the Skyliner. It has three different legs here. The leg we just came off of is for Hollywood Studios. This leg over here to the left will take you to Epcot. And this leg over here will actually take you to Pop Century and Art of Animation. But we're actually just going to walk straight ahead to that resort, which is the Caribbean Beach. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we are not actually staying on property, but we live about 15 to 20 minutes away from Disney World. So again, if you're like maybe coming over to Universal, you wanna check out a little bit of Disney, kind of see what it's about, maybe explore some of the resorts for maybe a future visit. This is a great opportunity just to kind of come over and hang out. Now, if you're gonna park over here uh, at a resort, you do need to have a dining reservation. So you should plan on like maybe eating lunch or eating dinner somewhere over here. Uh, for you to park over here. But I always wanted, I always like to make that point because there's always a lot of people who say that you can't uh, resort hop, which is technically what we're doing. You can't resort hop unless you're staying here or something like that, but totally not true. You know, we're not staying on property. Uh, we're just kind of coming over here for the day. And we parked at Hollywood Studios because we have an annual pass. So I thought I'd show you guys kind of the map here of Caribbean Beach, which is a moderate resort. So it is moderately priced. Uh, if you can believe that. So on uh, over here where you can see it says Dizzy Skyliner, that's where the station is at and that's where we came from. And we cross this little bridge right here and we're walking along the water and we're right here by this pineapple. We're gonna move up here to the main building, uh, which is where the Banana Cabana Bar is at. And it has some really good unique rum cocktails, I believe. And from there, we're actually gonna continue walking along the water to Disney's Riviera Resort, which is a really beautiful resort. And you can actually see it out here in the distance. It's the building with the blue and gray. Uh, it's really nice. So this is, uh, this is a really fun kind of day. It's relaxing. Taylor and Todd and Debbie are like super far ahead of me. So hopefully they'll wait up for me at some point. So we have made it to Banana Cabana here at Caribbean Beach, and I was going to get the Banana Cabana. However, I remember I didn't enjoy it that much last time because I don't really like banana in drinks. So I went with the Kraken Punch, which is essentially a run punch. Uh, and this has Kraken Black Spice Rum. Cheers to Caitlin and Tyler, because I know they like Kraken. And Blood Orange Sour with pomegranate and orange juices. It's very good. It's a Instead of being like a more sweet cocktail, it's a little sour with all the orange flavors in there. And it is really good. I like a rum punch. See the uh, Key West video from 2018. <laughs> I had the banana cabana, the signature drink. It's, it's got lots of banana and I like banana in my drink. Thank you very much. It also has two kinds of rum, mango and coconut rum has pineapple juice, has orange juice, and a little bit of grenadine for sweetness. It is delicious. I love it. I can't believe you don't like banana in your drink. What else did you, <laughs> what else did you need to get, Todd? What else did I what? What else did you need to get? Oh, french fries. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have french fries. Best french fries ever. So Debbie and I got the uh, Goombay Smash, which is Appleton Estate Reserve Blend Rum, Pear Bay Coconut Rum, uh, Plantation Original Dark Rum, sweet and sour and pineapple juice. So it's pretty heavy on the rum, which is definitely a cocktail for me and uh, lighter on the juices, but has a little bit of sweetness in it, not overpowering, which I kind of enjoy. Um, a little bit of sourness from that sweet and sour, but overall really good. And it's not, I don't think in particular, particularly overpowering, overpowering on the pineapple juice, uh, but it, it's good, nice and smooth. Basically a rum punch. Just a, a little different, different than Taylor's. All Next right, it's time, time to move on. Time to go. We've got number three coming up. Which one was your favorite so far? Oh, definitely two. The Banana Cabana is the best one so far. That was a smooth <laughs> I forgot I had four cups there. Not because I had four drinks. Four drinks? drinks. Well, I collected You're all the water. You're way ahead of us, Tom. I collected all the water cups and was stacking them, and then, like an idiot, picked up only three of them. There we go. There you go. I'm right, moving on. I'm sure that will make the cut. <laughs> it should. Hi, how are you? Basket I call you guys all the time. Oh, cool. Thank I you so much. 
it though. This is really like. Oh, we don't care. I know. If I you don't. Care. You want in it too? <laughs> myself. I like myself better this way though. <laughs> it's a lot easier on me. I did four. <laughs> I mean, that's the right spot. Right. I mean, this would be not bad because you're right there by the restaurant, but you're still going along. That's maybe why they got rid of ESPN Club because. Hello. Hi, uh, we were just wanting to see if there's any lounge space available. Sure, for four. Yeah. Are you all looking for food as well? Uh, I don't think so. Probably just drinks. Yeah, one drink. Sure. And there's space for four at the bar. Yeah, there's one space. Keep your ball, my friend. Thank you. So I think we sat over there last time. They have menus everywhere. Okay. I don't think it matters. Since it's a weeknight, we lucked out. And the lounge here at Topolino's Terrace is pretty much empty. So we did get a spot at one of the high top tables. We just ordered some cocktails. I'm definitely gonna step outside on the terrace at some point, just because when you come up here, you can't not walk out on the terrace just to look at that view. So we're gonna be here a little bit too soon for sunset, but I'm glad we did get to come up here to get some cocktails. All right, Todd, what'd you get? So I had the signature drink, the modern fashion, which is, it's a rum and whiskey combination with vanilla bean and bitters. And I've had one before, it's amazing, and I love the little RR in the ice cube. Can you see that, look at that. That is a presentation that is worth the drink. It is good. You can really taste the vanilla, which I like. For my cocktail tonight, I got my go-to beverage from Topolino's Terrace. I did not get this when we came here for dinner a few weeks ago, um, but I got the French Rose. This is Kettle One Citron Vodka. Uh, it comes with a rose liqueur, raspberry, agave, lemon, and soda water. It's also a very pretty color drink, and it is just so refreshing. I really didn't even need to look at the menu. I just had to look for the name to make sure that they still had it. Because <laughs> I knew this is what I was getting. All right, tonight I got the pomegranate paradiso, which is vodka, pomegranate, lemon, and pineapple. And it's the best, no matter what Taylor says. <laughs> I went with a, this is actually more unique than Todd's. Oh. I got the classic gin and tonic here. I was really gonna go with a rum old fashioned, but unfortunately a lot of the like Disney bars, especially at like the sit down restaurants, don't seem to have a wide variety of rums. They tend to just have Captain Morgan for some reason. They have lots of different bourbons and whiskeys, but just not a lot of rums to choose from. So I went with gin and tonic. They don't have a lot of gins to choose from either, but I do appreciate a good gin and tonic with Hendrix. So cheers. All right, we made our way out here to the terrace up at Topolino, which is open uh, basically to the public. If you don't have a reservation, you can come out and ask and see if you can come on out. And uh, we're grabbing some photos. It is a really nice place. You can get some really great views of Disney property as a whole. There's uh, Tower Terror over there. We've got the Skyliner moving along. You can see... Uh, Black Spire Outpost over there, which is uh, Galaxy's Edge. Let's see, what else can we see? The land, pa the land pavilion over there. Oh, if you all kinds of stuff. Just to the right of the build, or just to the left of the building, you can see the top of Germany. Yep. So we have made our way downstairs here at Riviera, and we're actually going to go to Bar Riviera, which is the pool bar. So. Oh, I'm sorry, Bar Riva. So like I mentioned earlier that there is no like actual specific itinerary here or kind of route that you have to take when you're doing your bar crawl. We kind of like, we had talked about it, but then we kind of added this on at the last minute um, as we were upstairs and coming down here because uh, we have some time. So just remember that like when you're doing your own bar crawl here on Disney, you can really go kind of wherever you want as long as it's on the way. So here at uh, the bar Riva. 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 Um, I, I have the uh, fancy Long Island iced tea, which is actually, believe it or not, the first place that I've ever had a Long Island iced tea. It's really good here. They always call it a really great value because you get kind of like three different types of alcohol, Five. right? You get, 
Oh, is it five? Honey, that's what. That's what. A, is that what it is? That's what a lot. It's what <laughs> rum. Every white liquor. Oh, that's right. Every, every white, white liquor. liquor. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, oh, that's right. Triple sec. I always forget about that. Gin. Excellent. Oh yeah, that's all fine. What is the top? Go ahead. You're looking it up over there. Yeah, but vodka, rum, gin, tequila, and Cointreau, which is triple sec. Yeah. And there's, it's a great, this is the high end, guys. It's great goose vodka, Bacardi Superior Rum, Magellan Gin, Corazon Blanco Tequila, Cointreau Liquor Sweet and Sour, and Coca Cola. And it Cola. also comes with that high end price of $16.50 uh, here on property. Not quite the price that we would have paid on, say, Margarita Villa at sea. Uh, may I have a Long Island, please? You want a Long Island or a Strong Island? <laughs> For the Strong Island. What you got there? The Strong uh, Island. Five uh, shots there, buddy. Yeah, uh, but it is quite good. It's uh, very smooth, tastes really great, and uh, I'm sure we'll probably, I'll probably feel it here in a little bit when we start making our way to the Skyliner. Probably. To go to Epcot. So we're back to the Skyliner. We've made it back to the Skyliner. We're about to take off to Epcot. We'll have some nice views. We're taking off. We are. Where and are we headed, Todd? We're, we're, fly, we're flying. We're flying off to actually we're flying off to the Beach Club because we're gonna go have rock uh, me like a hurricane. Off <laughs> <laughs> oh, to Neverland. That was for Val and Amy. We're gonna go get hurricanes. It's for Bryson. Thank you. All right. Good day. Thank we have you. an hour till Cosmic Rewind starts, so but, we got but plenty two of time. Hours before it ends. Before it ends, so we got plenty of time to go to Hurricane Hannah. Yeah, got to Hurricane, Hurricane Hannah. Hannah's and at least maybe Rose and Crown. Yeah. Or we can skip Rose and Crown, go somewhere else. So well, what? Well, maybe, if we just what if? Say hi and, and do a, a, a tweener there. Rose know? and Crown. All right. So oh. something that uh, is inevitable. Bathroom break. Is a bathroom break. So here oh, at Epcot. Gotta go. Yeah. So here at Epcot, there's actually a bathroom. Uh, right over here, <laughs> next to the Skyliner <laughs> that we're that we're going to take advantage of. Very right? Nice. It's very nice, clean. Is one. it not used by many people? They keep it cleaner than some of the others. Even though Disney has exceptionally clean bathrooms. Uh -huh. So as we make our way to Beach Club over here, uh, you could really customize again this bar crawl in any way that you want. Over here at Boardwalk Beach Club in Yacob, we've actually done just a bar crawl of this area, which is. Boardwalk Beach Club and Yacht Club, uh, including Swan and Dolphin. Um, because there's a lot of different kind of like areas over here. There's a lot of different bars that you can go to. Um, if you're looking for some suggestions, Boardwalk has Abercadabra, which is really cool. Great place, a little bit of magic. They have a lot of, uh, they got some like magic stuff over there. But you, you can also go to Swan and Dolphin. Uh, there's a lot of different things you could do here. So we're going to, to uh, Hurricane Hannah's over here at Beach Club because it's kind of like special to Todd and Debbie. Okay, here we are. This is Hurricane Hannah's here at the Beach Club. And it's a, it's a, it is really busy over here actually. So this is the bar over here. This is the pool bar for the Beach Club area. Um, they actually have a sand bottom pool, which is really cool. And a really deep lazy river, which is very different than um, many of the other kind of Disney properties here as far as hotels go. November, 2018. Just after we bought our first DVC contract, actually we bought two of them within a month. This was the first place we stayed with all of our kids. We had eight days over Thanksgiving and we met right here at the bar, all three groups and had our very first drink together at Hurricane Hannah's. It has a tremendous amount of memories for me. I love this place. And we haven't been able to book this place since because we... <laughs> It's amazing how when you call and say it's your first trip, what they can do for you, and then a second trip, well, we're kind of booked up. But <laughs> you're doing trade-ins. Trade in yours, get this one, and you like a 10 or 15% loss on it. Just struggling. You know what can do. Well, like I said, we're on number five. I like staying here, this whole right here. Well, this, that's what I, I mean, out. this is my favorite place to be. Yeah, and I, I'm sure I would enjoy the boardwalk. I've never been Kate to the pool there. Said, I pour myself a glass of peanut water and watch a vintage WDW <laughs> Drinks are delivered. Woo! Yippee! Not my room. Well, there weren't really actually any tables around here. We have our own table. Oh, we're gonna try, even though it's not mine. Hold on, I gotta walk. Did you just walk over the 
All right, so Rose and Crown Pub was not packed. Can you believe it? Never. We walked right up to the bar. Shocking, I know. But I got the Welsh Dragon. This is my go-to at Rose and Crown. Todd got the Leaping Leprechaun, which has like some Sprite in it. Josh got a strong bow. I got Debbie the same thing as me because it's good. What did I get again? Uh, leaping Leprechaun, but I don't remember what's in it. I'm mine has, mine it. has peach schnapps, <laughs> <laughs> peach schnapps, melon liqueur, orange juice, pineapple juice, I think, and it's very good. So we have, uh, we just finished our fish and chips. Uh, another food item al along the way. Uh, doesn't really seem to be helping in the drinks that we have had, especially for Todd as he continues to show off his drinks or Taylor's drink, yeah, I suppose. Taylor's drink, thank you. We are in Epcot officially, so we've made it here. And we went to Rose and Crown Pub and got some drinks. Debbie and I had our fish and, well, we got the fish and chips. Taylor and Todd got the drinks. Um, and now, believe it or not, oh, no, go for it. No need to apologize. It is time to see who can hold it. <laughs> oh, I can hold it. On Guardians of the Galaxy. It's three to one against that Taylor won't make it. I'll take those odds. How many times you could ride All that right. there without getting sick? We've, we've got sea legs now. We've completed the bar crawl. We've completed. Oh my God! Still best ride at Epcot and all of the entire Disney World. Ooh. Best ride. Wow. Best ride. I think. Wow. Ooh, stunning. I've ridden four times in five days, so. I think we're gonna try and get a photo out here real quick. Yeah. All right. Well, that is gonna do for us tonight. Our mics have unfortunately gone the way. If I wasn't using all four of them for the four of us, Taylor and we I would have had, had backups. We would have had backups, but unfortunately, you know, we wanted to make sure that we got some good audio with Todd and Debbie. Uh, they're really great friends of ours. And we're making our way, like I said, back to Hollywood Studios to I end the night. I just have to say, can you believe that we have made such good friends from our group cruises? It's crazy. It's literally crazy. So, and that's a great point that Taylor just made. It's our group cruises. We have a really great time. Um, we have a med cruise that's coming up that in is August. closed. We are not accepting any new people for the med cruise. But 2024. If, if you want to come hang out with Taylor and I and join the rest of the group, meet some new people, make some truly lifelong friends, uh, send me an email. Send Taylor an email. Uh, it's in the description. You can join us in 2024, July 4th, believe it or not, from Reykjavik, Iceland, all the no way. Northern Europe. All the way to London. UK. Not London. No, not technically. It's actually Southampton, but they kind of advertise it as London because it's pretty it's close. It's like Port Canaveral being advertised as Orlando. True. Absolutely. If you've got questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comment section below. We'll address those, and we will see you all in, in the, the next, next one. one.